Yeah, I mean, we'll show them how to do this, right? And, dude, we're, we're the experts, man. You know it's going to be a friend. That's not how basketball works. What's the problem? First thing, you want to breathe, like, Okay. It's like really, really fast, right? Step by step. You think step. you can show them how to shoot a yes, basketball? Yes, man. Okay. Better than me? You I've think played you sports shoot? before. Thank okay. you very much. Okay, That's so. It. Yeah, and then the legs need to be further apart. No, like further. All right. You have to know how to hit a switch. Well, see, he's, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Got this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why, why are you even listening that's, to this guy? You gotta be classy here. Work. You really gotta go skyhook. You, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you think gotta that's get what's here. Gonna fucking... He's gonna, he's gonna be like Dr. J, man. No. Go for it. This I'm is it. I got it. You got it. Yeah, he's got it. I got it. You got it. You got it. I got it. Look, guys, where's Trinidad? I feel like he could do a better job. What are you guys even teach me at this point? What's this? You got a lot to learn. We'll, we'll get there. That's a full size. That's a full size. She, she, she won every color. That's a full size. What's going on, folks? It's Brendan Dunn. Once again, your full size run co host. I'm Matt Welty. Trinidad James. What's up, world? We have a great guest today. Please introduce yourself to the millions of uh, viewers out there. Millions. What's good, guys? I'm Fran Relations uh, from Sounder Boys. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Sounder you, Boys. Ben, you've been in the YouTube game for a minute now. I think your first video was uploaded October 2007. Uh, yes, this is true. My first sneaker video was June uh, 2008. Though. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you're, you're, you're maybe like the, the first hype beast ever on YouTube. It's quite possible. The first hype beast? It's quite possible. Maybe. What about me, bro? I thought I was like king hype beast. <laughs> He's more of an OG than that guy, right? Or no? I don't know who that well, guy uh, is. Yeah, rest in peace to that guy. Um, we have Fran around to talk sneakers, talk talk your history in the game. Of course, we're also going to talk about what's going on right now. You have some collabs. Uh, we're going to have a lot of fun. Yeah, of course. The first sneaker news item we want to talk about is the teaser that Nikki Diamonds posted of a new Tiffany Dunk. Fran, I'm gonna, I want your take because I, I think you're more of an SB guy than any of us. Yeah, even though I got SBs yeah. on right now, shout out. Go ahead. They, yeah. the black sheep, right. it's yeah. time I gotta look. We'll, we'll look, down. it's, yo, make sure because <laughs> we gotta get this right. You these are, these are incredible. Very happy right now. Yeah, I'm super hyped for them. Like when I first started doing uh, video content, it was on SB Dunks. Right. So like every picture, as soon as you uh, post it, I'm like reposting it. Yeah. Are you, are you okay with them kind of retroing in a way? These like, how do you feel about the dunk, the Tiffany dunk highs? Actually, I don't know if we could say Tiffany. I, I, Right. Kind of some legal situations using yeah. the word tip. You might right. have to bleep it out every time you use the word tip. But yeah. tip dunk highs. Were you into those too? Yeah, yeah, of course. I, I picked up a couple pairs of those when they came out. And yeah, I'm gonna... it's not sacrilegious. You don't mind them going back to the well? I love it. I love it. Uh, anything to add to the SB collection, I'm, I'm all about it. How so. many pairs of SBs do you have at your height? Uh, and how many does your dad have also? Because uh, okay, shout yeah. out to your dad's yeah. collection. Pop's yeah. got the collection? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, I probably have about 300 pairs of SB dunks right now, and I probably had like 500 at, at one point. You missed that era? Blue yeah. Bar, you know, running, just running around chasing SBs, you know, Call. hanging out in front of Supreme. Like, we have the old video where you're hanging out with, you yeah. see Tyler, the creator, in the, the line. Hey, hey, can I say something to the camera? Fuck Obama! <laughs> <laughs> this is before he was, like, an artist or anything yeah. like that, too. Did you know who he was? Uh, yeah, just because everyone would already, like, talk about him back then, like, uh, when in was the that? area. Uh, I think it was like 2007, 2008. What should we all camp, all camp for the uh, Supreme? This was the Supreme warehouse sale, which would never happen now, nowadays. Oh wow. Everything 80% off. I got a leather jacket for like 80 bucks. Usually they retail for like 800 bucks. Those are like, to me, that's like the golden years, you know? Do you still have fun in it? Like, you know? Yeah, I definitely still have fun in it. Especially now, I have a different aspect. I get to work with a lot of these brands that I used to like line up for. Yes. To do drops with them. And um, meet meet uh, fellow YouTube stars. Exactly. Of course. I mean, Incredible YouTube. Incredible opportunity. I have to ask one more SB question. <laughs> right, what is your all-time top three, I don't want to ask you one, mm -hmm. SB that you like personally love yourself? Yeah, Red Supreme Blazers are my number one, just the details on them and everything like that. What the dunks, just because of the experience, like I got it on release date. Incredible. Um, Brooklyn Project. Yeah, Brooklyn Project. Shout out to Brooklyn Dom. Probably uh, the J-Packs, that's another one for me. Mm -hmm. Okay. I love the okay. J-Packs. There was something kind of crazy that happened with Nike SB dunks uh, this week. FSR alumnus John Geiger, mm -hmm. uh, shout out. Come on the show to explain yourself. Wear brand. Posted a picture of Flom dunks on his feet. That shoe, just so you guys know, that shoe, friend, you'd say, at least worth over like ten thousand yeah. dollars a dead stock pair. Yes, for sure. So he hypothetically dropped a lot of money. Right. It, it caught my boy slipping. It caught our boy slipping. Yeah. Who's, who's your boy? John Carter. You ever, ah. you ever take an L like this? Uh, no, no, I have not. 
You remember what happened to the last guy who said that? On the <laughs> I've never done it wrong. You yeah. never no, take no, a helmet? No, hey, no, I hey. Anyways, moving forward, guys. Yeah. Space Jam 2. Yeah. LeBron James. Yep. How do you feel? I'm excited, man. I'm excited. I re remember watching the original movie as a kid. Now passing it on to another generation, like a whole new movie. I'm, I'm hyped. It's going to be dope. Is it going to be good? I mean, I'm guessing, you know, like... Nothing Nothing is as good as the original, right? That's there's, true. There's no that's way true. we're going to get, like... Of course. But the amount of money they're going to put into it, it's got to be at least decent, right. right? The crazy part was, is so, as you saw, they teased it with, like, that locker room right. yeah. yes. photo. Right. The movie uh, thing posted on the left, it said, Be Bunny, right? Mm -hmm. And some people actually thought that Bad Bunny was going to be <laughs> what? in... Oh, oh the stupid, Spanish or oh, Latin artist. Yeah. I'm worried about how much of a Nike commercial this thing is going to be. So Ryan Coogler's directing it. He's Ryan Coogler's a beast. Creed. I, I saw Creed twice. He did Black Creed. Panther. The second time he I did Black Panther. Creed, just to count the number of swooshes. It's an insane And it's produced number. by like LeBron's yeah, like Spring production. Hill yeah. Entertainment. Right, right. Yeah. Any LeBron, if you're watching, I, I suspect you are. If we could get like a consulting check, something like that, you know, I'm happy to... You know, work on the script, you know. I'm not worried about that. I mean, in the first one, I mean, what did he wore Space Jams, of course, in it yeah. or whatever. I think, well, I, try, I think Dre has a pair of Space yeah, Jams from Space. Shout out, shout out, Creation shout out. Styles. Shout out, my boy. Who should be the monsters? Dang, that's a good question. Honestly, I, I don't even have an answer for that one. I'm, oh, I'm, I'm, come I'm, on, friend. I watched it as a kid. I don't really like remember it now mm -hmm. nowadays, but yeah, I, I enjoyed should it as a kid. I had like a back. The Warriors that lost when they were up three to one. <laughs> Speaking of Jordan, uh, it's coming out Air Jordan 33. You get a pair already? Yeah. We actually have a pair here. Um, I'll show you guys. <laughs> this is our first time seeing him because none of us got invited to the reveal. But um, Shout out to Gerald, uh, who actually got to go out there. He um, did ding bring back a pair for us. Yep. Okay. Let's get into it. Oh, man. We'll put this one this side? You got you to gotta have we'll the unboxing king unbox the shoes. <laughs> First impressions, what, what do you think? To be honest, like as far as like a performance Jordan shoe Finally goes. Finally some honesty from that Yeah, one. no, this isn't too bad. This isn't too bad compared to, I thought the past two shoes were absolutely butt yeah, cheeks. Yeah, the, the 31 sucked. I don't think that they should continue to do this look back thing. Um, Brian, what are you saying about this? Uh, I was actually really hyped for these last year because the 32 to me was a dope shoe. They're absolutely butt yeah, cheeks. Uh, mm -hmm. I, th I thought it was like an improvement you, on the Are two. you a guy out there buying the new Jordans? Uh, not really buying it, but like they right usually up. send it out to me. So then, oh, what's that like? Plug. Uh, it's plug life. Pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Shout plug out. life. So yeah, I, I really liked the 32 last year, and I was just like in my head imagining a 33, and mm. this was not it. <laughs> what details did you like though? Even this little tiny little hit back here with like the red like little um, lines through it. You have like the etching on the. Uh, midsole as well. There's a lot of different details all throughout, which I think so is dope. This is a seasoned YouTube unboxing <laughs> right? professional. But, right? so hit him with the details. But it's hit still, it's still not really like screaming out to me or anything like that. I think a Jordan shoe should should have some big coming from a non-athletic person. He said he said that the this shoe doesn't look great, but remember he said drip on the LeBron 16. You That's know? a drip for you. But these are nice. Oh yeah. my god. I respect god. it as a design. It's good. Jason Peach. I want to scratch out the black skin off my face. <laughs> Bruh. The LeBron 16 Bruh. is way better than this. In what country? <laughs> Come on, bro. Stop talking about sports shoes. Right. That's what you need to stop doing. You like the LeBron 16? Uh, it's not bad. I haven't liked the past few years, but I think it's like a step in the right direction compared to like the other stuff. I like how futuristic it feels. Detail-wise, they killed That pool thing is Friend, you, you make your own sneakers now, if, if I'm not mistaken. Is that right? You have some collaborations uh, to your name? Yeah, so um, uh, with Sandal Boys, we've done plenty of collabs, but I'm actually doing Sandal my own. Sandal Boys is your own company, is that right? Yeah, so we have multiple owners. Silent investors? Any big names? I should no, it's all, it's all us putting our money into it. But yeah, I also have my own sneaker coming out with this brand, uh, Elati. Okay. It's made in Italy, all quality materials. Uh, show us some stuff, yeah. man. You got the, you got, first of all, guys, Take care. I don't know if we will be able to show you this, but this motherfucker has Sound the boys tatted on his neck. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Fran ain't no kid out here. That's a grown right. man tattoo on his neck. Okay. I'm really proud of the brand, so I'm still gonna rock it for life. It's right. Sound the boys for life around here. But yeah, here's the Elotis, uh, two colorways. They come out on the 29th. This is the black. This is the tan. This one's a little like uh, beat up. I actually jumped into the ocean after meeting Kanye West in these. Okay. Got you me. said you're gonna wear Sound the boys for life. Does that mean you can never move to a cold climate? Uh, these are them, made in Italy, uh, quality like leathers. Like, you like futuristic vampire type shit. This is like something to Wesley me, Snipes would step out in. To me, I thought it was Wesley like Snipes. a futuristic Blade? three. Kind of like a Rick Owens vibe to it too, you know, like a mixture of all that stuff. You could like kill somebody with that soul. Yeah, this, this soul. <laughs> <laughs>
Friend, he you know hates what? it. I, I can I'm, tell. What? <laughs> he hates it. No, I didn't say. I said you could kill somebody with. Yeah. Well, how do you feel about let, it? Let me know your guys' thoughts for sure. I want, what, what, I want what is this? Is this drip flip or skip? <laughs> is this I drip know. flip or skip? Give tell me, the me now. Yeah. <laughs> Trigger going up. Way up. Tell me a little bit about the. Yeah. So the uh, Bee Prison Cigarettes is a. Uh, Friend, sorry, I, I don't really like the shoe. Finally, Chugos. some honesty. For, yeah. I, I respect what you're trying to do with it. I, I, I think it's. It. I think it's reasonably tasteful. How much do these retail for? Uh, they're gonna retail for two sixty-five. Okay. Uh, yeah. So Good this letters. is the BBC release. This print actually originally released in 05 or 06 on like hoodies, shorts, right. shirts, stuff like that, uh, as well as uh, shoes. So now we're bringing it back on our Sandal Boy silhouette. Crazy packaging to mimic the old like Reebok collabs and stuff like this. So, what do you think about the shoe, Wealthy? I think it's cool. Appreciate it. Yeah, one well, you can't give us a more detailed answer. <laughs> I think it's cool. Slides. You I think mean, it's like, cool? it's like it's dope. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it's a pair of slides. Do you yeah. wear slides? I don't. If wear. you do wear slides, would you wear a Gucci? Gucci? What you wear? I just wear Adi Let. Socks or no? You gotta have the Sound Boy socks with it. I don't really want to see your bare feet. Out. Yeah, I don't think <laughs> you do. want to see my toes. But how long has Sound Boy has been running now? Uh, we started um, like research and development in 2015. And our first release was in January of 2016. Yes, sir. First release sold out instantly, and we've been going ever since then. Uh, crazy collabs. We were able to work with Jeff Staple. This yeah, is like a Pigeon friend Jones. and family, I mean, by the way. that's cool, FSR, but everybody FSR everybody has worked with Jeff Staple. No offense, Frank, but everybody. <laughs> I, I, I feel it. I, I'm pretty sure <laughs> I have a Staple listen, collaboration Listen, listen there to this I man. I feel it. I met him uh, some years back, and... Uh, he had uh, recognized me from the YouTube videos. For me, it was an honor to like, you yeah. know, go kind of full circle and work with him. Do you think you'll get a Nike SB? Are you still chasing that dream? Uh, yeah, that's still uh, on the top of my. Go head. ahead, go ahead, tell them. So Nike SB, if you're hearing this, they are. Yeah, we got to get uh, get together and get a Dunk logo. And you but know, you, you did have some input. Like, correct me if I'm wrong, but you were kind of in the in the design talks with with Sean Witherspoon, uh, a friend of the show. I think. Yeah. Um, your favorite. Wow, your favorite person. Um, so you how many did days you did you talk about with that shoe? Yeah, I actually picked the midsole on it um sean had so you're saying sean doesn't deserve the credit no no, no. He, he got all of us together and he said that he was well, like one twelfth of the yeah. design yeah he, what he said is he wanted a 97 with corduroy and then all of us uh, i had mentioned the so it's really more your shoe than sean's no that I, that's literally the only one detail that i have on it <laughs> like that's it but uh, the i had mentioned it and then everyone kind of laughed and then they sketched it out and everyone's like let's do that that's literally how he it also happened. teased too that uh, on Instagram yesterday that he may be having who uh, yep. on Weatherspoon. Yep. Oh, I don't Nike. follow him. Yeah, he's headed back out to Portland to get to working on the next. Are you project. gonna work on it as well, or is he? Gonna... I, I haven't heard anything. So he's still in the meeting. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Are, are, you, are you still as into SBs as you were back in the day? I still have most of my SBs, and I love SBs. I'll, I'll pull them out from time to time, and I'm super happy to see. It looks like they're coming back. And are they? It's that's, official. I mean, that's that's what it seems like to me. Definitely. Nike SB is they're not. They're they're having dope releases like this. Like what? Do you, go, do you ever go back and look at your old videos? You know, it's kind of like you have your own version of, of boyhood here uh, <laughs> on YouTube. Shout out to Richard Linklater. Come on the show. Do you do you look at the stuff that you did ten years ago? Is it embarrassing? Uh, it is embarrassing. I do watch it every now and then. You uh, do? I would be. I, I respect you for doing that because yeah. I, I'm. It, it hurts me to look at stuff from last year. Yeah, some of it. I like it. It hurts me to look at you right now. So I, feel I turn you. on. I, I have to turn off right away because I'm like, what the hell is I talking about? Yeah. But, <laughs> well, we'll play some of it right now. Okay. I'm Franelations. Hello, uh, this is Franelations. And this is Franelations. What up, guys? It's Franelations. One of the things people gave you shit for, mm -hmm. I remember on the internet, where people are like, oh, he's a rich kid, no. you know, his parents are buying him all the shoes. Yeah. Um, how, did, how did you deal with, you know, people saying that to you when you were when you were coming up? Yeah, so I had started Sneaker YouTube before a lot of people did. And before anyone, go ahead so, and say it. Before. Uh, it was actually pretty easy to get, like, brand uh, partnerships and stuff like this, so... Uh, very early on, I was making more money from doing the videos than I was like working my regular job. And what was your regular job at the time? I was a host at Mimi's Cafe. So I'm not taking you serious as a <laughs> host, okay? <laughs> Stick to fucking doing YouTube. Exactly. Continue. I want to get your opinion on. You have a lot of new sneaker YouTube people. Right. Who... New tube. What? Shoe tube. <sighs> Shoe tube. Oh, this is like. A joint collab, <laughs> collab album coming soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus um, Christ! Detective season four. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, 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 Matthew McConaughey, come on the show. <laughs> these younger kids who shall remain nameless, who may or may not be ripping off like sneaker shopping. Mm. But what do you think about the trend now, where it's like hype bee shopping? I wore eighty thousand dollar outfit to right. to the first day of high school. Yeah, I mean, when I was doing the videos, it was never to like flex or show off. You never put on an eighty thousand dollar. Uh, not an eight thousand dollar outfit. Maybe like a three thousand dollar outfit or something. Thirty thousand. Three. Oh, three. But yeah, um, I never really did it to flex. This is the stuff I enjoy. But yeah, it's a, com a completely different climate now. I still enjoy watching the stuff. Like, I'll watch all the YouTubers that are uploading stuff now, and I even know all of them. 
Uh, most of them, I guess. You could who are your top three? Or what is your Mount Rushmore? Bottom three. Fuck that. I want to know who the bottom. Who the worst? I mean, I definitely watch Kaisa's videos all the time. And Come on the show. I feel like uh, he gets like a bad rap for some reason. I don't really get it, but I enjoy. He it. also Talk recently. About that when he, comes on the show. he also recently said on Twitter that he went to Italy and there was better Italian food at Olive Garden. Jesus. I mean, that's why he gets a bad rap. Who else okay. do you like? Um, yeah, Former Simpson. I've always enjoyed that, his Mr. stuff. Mr. Former Simpson. Mr. Fom yeah. Former Simpson. Former. Yeah. And then I watch a lot of the round two videos, even like after What's I've that? seen them, uh, like Sean's videos and stuff, where they like walk through the store and everything like that. Yeah, he plays it on his computer all the time. Don't worry about yeah. it. Who's the worst? Who's the worst? Are there any you, you're willing to, or no, just say it and we'll bleep it. I promise we'll bleep it. I don't like, I don't watch anyone that's like just the worst. Just say someone who's really bad. There's no one that's bad. Jock Slate? No, I actually really like his videos. So. Me too. Yeah. I don't think anyone's... Show. What do you think is the the biggest difference from when you started to right now when it comes to like actually making money in YouTube? I can't say that people don't have like a passion for it because they definitely do. But I know that my reason for creating the content was purely off of passion. And I think now it's like, okay, I got to get this I'm out. I'm going to get paid. Yeah, I got to get this out because like the release is coming. Like it's all just like there's reasons behind each thing. And I was just kind of like doing it like... For fun, you know you what I mean. Your friend relation groupies in the in the height of you being a YouTube star. Uh, definitely no groupies, but no matter where I go, even like Indonesia or anywhere around the world, there's people that come up to me and they're like, I watched you in middle school, I watched you in high school. You and met you met Rich Chiga. Or, yeah. Or Brian Emanuel. His hmm? brother came to one of our pop ups in Indonesia. Uh, was really cool and invited us over, and so I met him that following day. He was just watching Breaking Bad at, uh, on on the laptop, <laughs> hanging out, and yeah, we hung out for a couple hours. And he took some pictures and, and our Sound of Boy stuff. And then halfway through the hangout, he's like, you're the guy from the Vine, the Javanshi <laughs> face. Oh, we're wow. we're going to talk about that. We're yeah. going to talk about that. Yeah. Uh, what I want to talk about right now is our worst take. Every week we have the commenters choose who said the most outrageous thing last week. And we punish the person appropriately. To no one's great surprise, it is Mr. Matthew J. Wealthy. What did I say this time? Uh, <laughs> well, what did I the say? said that Wealthy is going to have to wear some cool shoes next week for saying that hit the switch line. So. <laughs> is that, do you think he actually like hit a swish when he was shooting the... Uh, is hit a swish a basketball <laughs> term? <laughs> I know Did I got the swish. Ah, is that? You want to hit? I mean, I'm, not, hit I'm not ever one to call hit out. Hit the pen, you know, brother. You want to hit the pen, bro? This is a, hit the swish. You, you are being punished for that. Trinidad, I think we have some oh. sneakers for Wealthy to wear for that egregious uh, made-up basketball I'm, term. I mean, this is a wealthy shoe anyway. Yeah, you so. might. I feel like I could see you in Norway with, with a pair of these on. For sure. What is that? You're like a UK I, Uber I driver. I can't even fit these on my feet. <laughs> I can't, I can't fit these on my you feet. You have to try. Bro, put them on, These bro. are two, two and a half sizes right. too small. Man, That's what she's we're here to That's try. Right there. Did you guys fuck up? They thought that you had the worst take? Or no, like nobody thought that ever was the thought that. Size? Pull, pull the insoles out and do it. No, make it happen, bro. These shoes aren't going to fit on my foot, bro. Come on, man. Bro, put them on, bro. That fits perfect. That, 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 you, you wear your shoes like a thigh anyway. That's good. Okay, you're halfway there. Yeah, put the other one on. All right, well, while he's figuring that out, uh, shall we? So, Fran, yep. every week, as you know, because you watch the show, which yep. we really appreciate, we want everybody to watch the show every single week, we do drip flipper skip. Yep. Drip being, hey, it looks good on you, yeah. you feel good, talk good. Woo, James Brown. Flip, of course, resale. Yeah. We know you know about that. Do you? And yeah. Resale. Wait, I got a question for you. Mm -hmm. Have you ever resold sneakers? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Right. <laughs> Most definitely. And Skip, yeah. being we don't fuck with it. Right. All right. We're doing the React Elements 55s. Um, I'm gonna go out and say that I'm a, actually a fan of the Tiffany Black and Tiffany Blue joints. Okay. Yeah, I think I'd skip. Honestly, it's not really like my style exactly, but they're not bad. It's you like the undercover bad. ones. Yeah, yeah, those are, those are pretty good. Um, I think maybe the the clear with like the crazy colors and stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm usually for the crazy colors. This is a drip for me. I don't mind them uh, doing this. Oh, <laughs> come on, man. Let me just... <laughs> you, you know, I love the original shoe. I don't mind them doing like a takedown version of it. That's a bit more accessible. Mm -hmm. Of course. I think it's a skip. Um, I like the original version. I think that this. You like is... the original version? I or do. I do. You like. I like selling the original version. I like the original version. So um, this is a, it's a skip. It's like it's now not a flip. It's, it's a skip. It's, it's a, Am I alone here? They they Roshi a drip fied, island. They Roshi nah, the. I hear you. They got to be careful with that. Yeah, it's done. I, it's the drip. I like the Tiffany. I like the Tiffany blue ones. All right. Moving forward, we have the young ones, Adidas young ones, the yep. Dragon Ball Z version, the freezer joints. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're a Dragon Ball Z fan. Yep. Come on. This is drip. The drip. The packaging's crazy. Uh, everything like that. Um, 
grew up watching the anime, so. <laughs> what is this for you, sir? Drip flip. This is a drip for me. I don't really like the Goku one in this pack, but the, the Frieza, the young one, I think the young one is a good silhouette. And the clothing has a nice one. Sneakers and stuff has a couple yeah. coming out. Uh, the Goku all passed, that's a skip for me, but uh, the Frieza is a drip. Uh, I think it's uh, kind of a drip. Really? It's more drip than... I didn't realize it's you like the Adidas yeah. sneakers, you know, that are in the new millennium. Uh, <laughs> in the new millennium. Dinosaur talk. Come on, talk that talk. Well, talk that talk. No, that's all. It's all right. It's not bad. <laughs> I'm going to tell you that I actually think it's the drip. And I, I, I always like Frieza the character. It's more the drip because of, like you said, the packaging, the story. I love that if you stack all seven boxes, yeah. yes. it makes the one portrait. That's yeah. your favorite Dragon Ball Z character all the time. Um, Trunks. For me, it's probably uh, like Kid Buu or... Uh, like future trunks though, like when he first comes back. Okay. Yeah. I'm a Krillin guy. Oh. Krillin. Yeah, I got a little shrink nice. for, for Krillin. Nice. Yeah. You? I, I remember I. Oh, yeah, you are a dinosaur. Uh, that's right. Uncultured. Moving forward, the <laughs> uncultured dinosaur. <laughs> off white blazers. Halloween pack, if I'm. I hope I'm saying yeah. that right. Do they flame Reapers and the All Hallows um, Eve? The blazer from the tin was amazing, and these are just as good, if not better. Orange or the black one? Both. Continue. What did drip flip or skip? Be honest. This is drip for me. Whew, you have been saying drip a lot I'm, today. I, I don't flip. think the shoes look bad, but it's a flip. And I think the weird thing too is that like they're bringing back like Halloween themed shoes on Virgil. I think that's kind of corny. Um, yeah, you make a good point. There. This is like this doesn't happen. Often. This yeah, reminds me of like the Frankenstein like yeah. Air Force Ones. Oh, okay. I actually just like the first Blazers. I feel like I'm cool on both of these. If I have the black ones, maybe. But I'm cool on this, so I'm gonna say uh, flip. All right, flip. All right. Definitely flip. Uh, moving forward, and I already know where this is gonna go with you guys. The low top Jordan Seven Bordeaux. They got like a yellow colorway they're doing. <laughs> low top Jordan Sevens, Fran. What, Fran? I'm start you. Drip, drip flipper skin. Um, I'd probably wear those honestly. I I love the sevens, and I've actually been a fan of like lows where most people like aren't. Just a lot of the Jordan models, I feel like it looks. You like good. the low elevens too? Yeah, I like the low. I actually like the low eleven Concord better than the like regular model. I'm and done with I you. I got bro. a lot of like. That's crazy. I got a lot of hate for that, but like I just I think it looks better on me than the high. So. Well, yeah, how you, how it looks on you personally, that is a, a whole yeah. different story. Yeah. Drip flipper skip, sir. <laughs> or should I say skip, 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 skip? This is skip. Skip, skip, skip. It's just like I hope like the truck that's driving them just like falls off. Oh, you're gonna send this truck to Chicago? Oh, okay, I got you. Ooh. Sheesh, this, bro, this is the drip, bro. Yeah. These are Bordeaux 7s, yep. which is one of the best Jordans ever made. This is the drip, bro. Not that, you can't just make it a low. It doesn't work like that. <laughs> yeah. You definitely can't. You they've can't been, just, been doing it for dude, years. Dude, this is gonna look the good shoe on was foot. literally like, it was like a Hirachi based shoe and that was like the defining characteristic of the sneaker and you fucking cut it off. Bro, you made a low version. Relax. All right. All right. We, we don't agree on it. What's next? <laughs> so we also talk about shoes, but we also talk about outfits. Oh, whatever. We definitely talk about outfits. We got some good ones today. Uh, we start with my boy P-Rod. Um, we got the Satin Jordans on. I'll start with you first. It's Drip. P-Rod in the Satin here. Lord, he's rubbing his lip. I'm scared of that. A... Based on the image I'm seeing of P Rod, um, yeah, I like these okay. I like this collection okay. What about you, Fred? Yeah, I think it's drip. Uh, he's yeah, definitely he's uh, a drip. point off. Yeah. What's it called? I'm I'm not gonna give him drip. Oh, whatever, because it's just a shoot. I'm not gonna give him drip. I'm not. I don't care. I oh, whatever. I wanted to come on the show, but I'm gonna be honest with him. I mean, he just has him a. But the, how is that like? I mean, it's energy. more of you we like the shoe. One Moving more. forward, the next outfit, the outfit of all outfits or whatever. God is... forbid that someone like actually wears like some shit looks like they skate because they actually do. <laughs> Unlike your ass. God. Oh, what are we? Yeah. Right. Oh. Woo. Look, who is this guy? Yep, that's uh, that's me from 2013. Givenchy down. That's a drip. Givenchy, There's Rick, no question. Philip Lim, Raph. That's a. How did? Where were you going with this people. outfit? Where uh, were you going that night or day? Uh, I actually went to EDC in that exact outfit. What is it? To a rave? Yeah. Mm. I actually really like that fit. Drip, flip, or skip? It's a drip. It was a moment in time. It's a flip. <laughs> Yeah. It's a flip. It's a flip. It's a flip. And well, I'm going to ask you, even though we're talking about you, sir. This is drip. This, no, is, the drip. this is drip. Years later. Years later. This, this is like a costume. Have you ever repeated this outfit? Wow. We, no, I might do this. I haven't, if, but, but if people, I can get your blessing, I might do this for Halloween. People have done that and they've sent me their Halloween damn, pics damn. Uh, over the years of them in the same like outfit. And there's even like YouTube videos of people like reenacting the, the like fit and stuff like that. See, and under it, I have like a uh, light gray uh, Rick Owens uh, long shirt with the hood. 
I already really uh, was filling, you know, any shirts with the hood, stuff like that, the thin. I gotta really hand it to you because I feel like you've gotten a lot of hate over the years. A lot. But like, Daily. I feel like you have weathered the storm uh, it doesn't matter. incredibly. Yeah, I mean, I love what I'm doing and there's stuff that I still want to do uh, pushing ahead. Fits and you still want to... Fits I still want to do and drops Sandals I want to release. Still wanna make. So I saw what was the vine of this with the if young Metro don't trust you. Yeah. And it's like the, there's like, so many different. It was vines. the the runway show and, yeah. and like with the beat yeah. dropped it like fly, it flashed oh, their outfit. Oh my god. Yeah. The, the internet is a savage and I love it. But yeah. Before we get out of here, speaking of the internet and and related savagery, we want to dip into our comment section where we take a look at what everybody's saying on YouTube, on Twitter, on Facebook, on Instagram, and all other dark corners of the net. Um, S. Sponger says, is the FSR intro song on Spotify so I can add it to my banger playlist, yo? Got my head bobbing and he puts uh, four exclamation marks on that. OMG. That comes out this week, guys. Yeah. Make sure that you go stream, download, purchase, whatever you want. Full size run theme song comes out this week. Definitely it's, come, it's out, please. Put some money in his pockets. Hey, put some money in all of our pockets. Do you, you split the percentages with us? Uh, sure. This guy also said, OMG, Welty does look like a walking dad shoe. That's just what the people are saying. Um, we have FJ707 <laughs> saying, what the fuck is Al Bundy doing on the show? To the left, I think that means you. Oh yeah, because if you're looking at it, that would be you. Oh, um, we yeah, have Fofo fine. saying, we, we every both, time- We both were shoe salesmen, salesmen at one point in our lives, so. Oh, no, not so far off. <laughs> Fofo says, every time I watch the show, I feel more and more clout course through my veins. Thanks, Complex. Yep. You're welcome. We have Tommy Callahan saying, you guys need to sell merchandise for some heat of your choice. We, we may or may not have some merch in the works. Complex card, maybe. maybe. We do a little we, Sandal Boys collab. We, yeah, can we get one? Sounds good. Sounds good. Let's do it. All right. We're, we're definitely going to get to work on that. No, we got, we got work to do. FSR merch coming soon. This yep. has been another episode of Full Size Run. Thank you so much for tuning in. I assume by now that you've hit all the relevant buttons, like, subscribe, comment, rate, etc. This has been your co-host, Brendan Dunn. I'm Matt Welty. Hey. Trinidad James in the building. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks for having me, guys. It was we'll a lot of fun. Peace. Peace. She, she, she won every color. That's a full size. Buy a six for my kids. Bought a seven for my kids. This is Full Size Run. I need you to subscribe now or I'll be forced to shave my mustache. This is Full Size Run. I need you to subscribe now or I will quit this motherfucker, man. Subscribe now or Trinidad James will have to freestyle again. Subscribe now or I have to get a real job. Subscribe now because I just want to buy Gucci socks and be great and live my best life, please. Thank you. I can support that. Yeah, definitely. If, if nothing else, subscribe so Trinidad James can buy Gucci socks. <laughs>